Well, hello, my little marionettes, and welcome to Mary Ann's Do It Yourself Craft Tutorials, Halloween edition. Spooky. This week's episode is going to be so special because I'm going to be teaching you how to make these delightful tea light pumpkin lanterns with cinnamon potpourri. Lovely. It's so easy, you're going to even be able to teach your husband how to do it. Just to prove that, I'm going to ask my own loving partner and husband, Gregory, to come join us. I know what you're doing. You don't think I can do it. You're just mad at me for eating crab legs in our bed. She doesn't think I can crab. I can crab. Well, we're sure gonna find out, aren't we? <laughs> the first thing we want to do is to remove the top of the pumpkin. So cut a hole large enough so you have plenty of space to scoop out the insides. Also, be sure to cut inwards at a 45 degree angle so the top seats nicely when we put it back on later. Now we can go ahead and scoop out the insides of our pumpkins. You can just use your hands for this. Or we can use one of these handy little spoons. You can find a wide range of these templates on PumpkinVisage.com. Why is mine on a napkin? Now you're going to want to wet your template before applying it. It'll go on nice and easy. Try and smooth it out as best you can. No wrinkles. Now we're just going to cover that up with some plastic wrap. Why didn't you put butter on yours? For the next step, we're going to choose the right carving knife for what you're trying to accomplish. The coarser blades are for cutting faster, and the finer blades are for cutting out details. We're going to use the coarse blade to make our first incision. Why are mine the same? I'm sorry, darling. I can only find the one set. Oh, yeah? Or maybe you just didn't want to give me some. Maybe I don't. Maybe I do. Maybe there are better places to eat crab legs than in our bed. Uh. Friggin' knew it. Next, we're gonna cut out the eyes. <clears throat> Beautiful. Now we'll attempt the mouth. And remember, it's okay to take your time with this. These knives are very sharp, and you don't wanna end up cutting yourself. And there we go. Our pumpkin is carved and ready for some potpourri. <laughs> now that we've finished stuffing our carved pumpkins, we can begin to cut our stem for a spot to place our tea light candle. You can get unscented, apple, cinnamon, anything that complements your potpourri. We're just going to use unscented for now. Now we just light the candle and voila. Now you have a cinnamon scented cob pumpkin that your guests are gonna love. And it was just that easy. No, fuck this. Thank you so much for watching Funny You Shouldn't Ask. Remember, new video every Friday, and don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on social media.